you're going to rank one another and the top three ranked are going to receive actual investment dollars directly from us. You know, if we get this money, we really have to do something with it because it's unfair to everyone else. So in a way, I was, I was more nervous to win the money than, than I was to not. Because we were playing the role of investors, we needed to follow a logical, rational process to, to rank the ventures because it's real money. It's, it's not a game. The experience of, of having to rank people who you consider your brothers and sisters is a very, very difficult experience. 25 brilliant entrepreneurs working on ventures in 17 countries and hailing from six continents will convene this summer in Boulder. Living under the same roof and sharing the same meals for 10 weeks, they have convened in Boulder this summer for one reason, to create ventures that future generations will remember as having changed the world. Ventures that will effectively address a social or environmental need, that are financially self-sustaining, and that will ultimately scale to meet the needs of at least one million people. It's no big deal. Trina was on speakerphone in a room full of excited people and, and there was a lot of static and she was going through the list. She said... Just to specify, they're not in any particular order, just the top sheet. So here we go. And, it, and it, it, at that exact moment, almost on cue, when... <laughs> Simon, Ben, and Emily. <laughs> I heard people making all sorts of noise, and, and she said, how do you feel, Ben? I said, did you say Ben? <laughs> yes, I said Ben! <laughs> and uh, when she said yes, I was, I was just ecstatic, because it, it, was, um, it signaled the first major step in, in kind of this journey. We don't necessarily deserve it over anyone else, so thank you very much, and um, feel very humble to receive it, and I will make you proud. Everything from, from this moment forward is making sure that we uphold that and support you guys and thank you for putting us in that position. I've got to call Jay, huh? <laughs> Jay Hunt said to me that you know a year ago we hadn't even had the, the concept in our hands, we hadn't had an initial meeting and we're walking away less than a year later with some capital um, potentially behind us so it's uh, um, been an incredible 10 weeks for us. <laughs> I know the impact and, and what these funds mean for being able to launch Liga Massiva into a realm that it's never been. And the farmers that I work with in the Dominican Republic have invested their time and energy and they're counting on me. So it was, it was a really, uh, really powerful day, but it also signaled that it's time to get really, really serious. I think Ben, as an entrepreneur and as a person, really took advantage of the resources and of the experience at the Institute this summer. We've made kind of 180 degrees uh, turnaround. We have a for-profit and we have a non-profit right now. He created Copo Copo at the Institute this summer. He moved to Seattle because of the venture he created. And coming into Unreasonable and getting basically a mini MBA uh, and, and seeing that you know, business can be a very powerful tool realizing that that profit was not anathema to our passion. I've been here now for about two weeks and just being here we've already made tremendous progress so I'm really optimistic that in the next six months I mean everything's gonna happen uh, and then we're gonna have a professional business we're gonna have revenue we're gonna have customers. We owe a lot to you know what uh, they did at Unreasonable Institute. Uh, Copo Copo would not exist as it does. It's questionable whether it would exist at all if not for those 10 weeks sharing our living space with 22 other people. Vilcap played a huge role in being able to, to feel confident that you know we at least have something to start with. Money's not the problem. It's not the concern. The concern is how do we do what we say we can do? How do we deliver something that's gonna change people's lives? We're gonna make it worth their time and their investment. One of the reasons why, out of the whole entire world, we've picked Boulder, Colorado to run the Unreasonable Institute is because we believe that Colorado 
is a hub for social innovation. And it was incredible to get the support of the state for our graduating event. In fact, the governor joined us for the entire graduation ceremony, invited us down to the Capitol building, and really set us off and set the entrepreneurs off. Much of what we're focused on are things that we think are gonna be commonplace in 20 or 25 years, because it has to start somewhere. And that's what I would say to you as social entrepreneurs, it, it absolutely must start somewhere. When we started the Institute, we had you come to the stage and we asked, who are you to define progress in our time? And I want you to take a minute and to look at the person next to you. And really look at them. You are the individuals who will define progress in our time. We have four days. We have four days left together as a family. Years from now, I hope that we have these amazing bonds that we can carry forward and work together to create incredible things. I guess the, what I want to leave you with is like never, ever lose faith. I mean, never stop, never stop trying and, and don't ever let anyone else bring you down or tell you that you're not doing the right things. You guys have given me knowledge and information that they can never teach in a classroom. It was the first time that for 10 weeks consecutively, people didn't tell me, get a real job. <laughs> you know, there are a couple of people who inspired my life. There's my brother, as you know, my parents, and now there's you guys. It pretty much goes without saying that being here with all of you fellows and the Unreasonable team has been the biggest honor of my life. I have full faith that all of us walking out of this room are going to change lives. If I can do anything in my power over the next years to make you, your dreams happen, I will do it. I wish you nothing but success and blessings on your way. The key to happiness is not to wake up every single day and ask, how am I going to make this a great day? It's to ask, how am I going to make it a great day for somebody else? It has been a great honor and a great privilege. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Safe travels, bro. Thanks very much. Thank, thank you, guys. There's no goodbye we're going we're gonna to see soon. Thank you. I love Bye, you. Bye, Jamaica. Love you too. I need a hug. <laughs> this too has changed my life entirely. Um, this path that I'm going on now, which is really exploring, understanding things, you know, I have a lot to learn and I think realizing that, realizing that I'm not at the top of the world and realizing that I can't maybe change the world today, but maybe I can change it tomorrow, that was huge for me. So these are journals that we got as graduation gifts from the team, um, the Unreasonable team. And we've been spending the past couple of days just writing notes to each other and them, kind of some like last closing thoughts. Uh, we're disassembling the shelter, taking off the second floor and get everything packaged up so we can ship it back home. And it's a sad day. We're leaving on reason. It's a beginning, my friends, not the end. A beginning. It's a beginning. It's a beginning. beginning. I mean, I'm an only child, you know. So this is like a whole new experience for me, like living in the living in a house with with 30 something people. Um, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, the, it was never, never a dull moment. The time will show as my feet will hit the shore. And my body burns for a feeling I can't feel anymore. But I gotta go home. And the stars are sure that I will see a change in a moment or two or ten. Before this, I was really scared of many things, uh, many risks that we had, many assumptions that we were making in our work. But right now, I know that we are going to face them, and I know that we have the power to face them and tackle them all. I'm going to find more mentors in life. I'm, but never am, again am I going to be living in a house with 25 people who all want to change the world and are going to do it. My expectations are more than fulfilled here. You know, even if there weren't any mentors, even if there weren't any pitch fests, just living with these 21 other incredible, inspirational, hardworking, humble, 
fun people has been an experience that I'm never going to forget. Not everything happens during the Institute, but some very real things are happening. Matthew Kochman asked Ben to be on his advisory board. How do you think that would, do you think that would affect anything? I think the best option is always, um, you know, give the users as, as much choice as possible. Um, Brilliant entrepreneur, incredibly hungry, has a viable venture. He's now out in New York City and he's working his tail off. So since uh, I got back from Unreasonable Institute about two weeks ago, it's just been a whirlwind. We clean the buses at the end of the day for you guys as part of our service. I was up at Cornell because uh, we had to establish the bus side of our business. It was from this that the, the taxi concept, the prepaid taxi account concept came from, and that's really why I was at Unreasonable Institute. A major chunk of my time is now, besides getting the tech ready and logistical things, is trying to raise capital because we, we need money. I'm excited for that first order to come in, that first dollar, that first customer. Although he didn't receive the funding for Village Capital, uh, he's still out there looking for investment, and, and I imagine he's going to seize that opportunity very soon. We're in La Sala 78 in Washington Heights. This is one of the coffee houses that sell Liga Masiva coffee. They do a great job. They make an espresso and brewed coffee, and they're, they're one of our first coffee houses, actually. Our team is working, uh, has been working last week and this week on our marketing plan and, and our website redesign. And so it's just sort of a, a matter of coordinating different people that are doing a great job on all these different parts to move things forward. The Institute has been one of the best experiences of my life, hands down. I wake up these days and can't even believe how amazing and fun and challenging and exciting my life has become. I'm also excited for kind of nurturing and, and benefiting from all of the relationships that we've formed over the summer. It's just fun to have this amazing network of people that you really love and respect and to see the world in such a similar way and all be moving toward the same types of goals. These entrepreneurs now are set on a path and a trajectory. Next year, we hope to attract the most brilliant, the most innovative, the most audacious and ambitious entrepreneurs in the entire world to come here next summer and to work with us. One thing is very clear, and it's that this is not the end. This is just the beginning. We got a big issue here. All right, we got we got a lot of footage. Like I'm talking about a lot of footage, and we got we got to basically take that footage and convert it.